Hello friends, this is Caroline of Caroline's Plans. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, today's um, B6 back blend with me is using this Fall Breeze kit from Wonder Soul Apollo. Um, this is not a full kit, but rather I received um, these three pages from the kit, uh, from the full kit in an oops bag that I purchased um, from Letters to Apollo um, at one point. I am starting by placing down some of these um, confetti foiled circles on each of the date covers to act as sort of an extra background for the date dots I'll be using. I'm pulling in a set of orange date dots from my collection. They are old ones um, that I've had in my collection for a while by Erin Condren. Um, you can see them there. I purchased them a long time ago and just haven't had occasion to use orange date dots very often. I believe that these are intended to be used in the month of May, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it'll say the um, the month they're intended, yeah, month of May, there we go. Um, and then I'm just placing those day dots down and layering them over the uh, foiled circles just to kind of give it a little bit of foil behind the day dots and to just make it a little bit more visually interesting. Then I am starting off the spread by placing down each of the um, day covers. You'll notice that I do struggle quite a bit to pull most of these the stickers from these sheets off of the sheets. That is no fault of Letters to Apollo. This is, um, this was an oops. Uh, these were pages uh, and an oops. So they are not, they would not come like that if you normally purchased from Letters to Apollo in a non-oops situation, if that makes any sense. Um, so please don't take this as a comment on their shop. This is, um, I'm intentionally using this oops just because I have three pages of it and I'm just willing to um, work with the sheets a little bit more in order to be able to use the stickers, which themselves are perfectly good and wonderful. So um, I'm placing down the date covers across all seven days of the week and then I'll move in to setting up the base for this spread. Um, this is a new to me planner. This planner is a rose gold coiled print impression B6 spiral planner. Um, so uh, these Saturday and Sunday columns are much shorter, which is fine. Um, it allows me to be a little bit more concise when memory planning. Uh, here you can see me pulling out the um, orange tone uh, headers, uh, glitter headers. I thought that the orange, this orange shade would be the hardest to pull into other spreads, so I wanted to make sure that I used those across the top of this spread to um, make sure that they get used. So I'll just finish placing down the rest of those and then start working on the bottom washi and full boxes. I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to use um, the bottom washi incorporated into this spread or not, um, but I did decide to go ahead and use it. I'm starting with the thicker strip. Um, and since this is a, a kit formatted to use with a standard size planner, the washi strips are not cut for the B6 size, so I did have to trim down um, the longer strip of washi, but the shorter one fit pretty well right in that space on the right side of the page. Um, it did hang over just a little bit, but it, that didn't bother me too much. And then I'm just using my Excel slice tool 
to trim the excess off and then I'm pulling in that shorter strip on top of the thicker one. It's just that sort of sagey green with the beautiful um, confetti glitter and then pulling a second strip onto the right side of the page. It does um, shorten your columns quite a bit, but if you don't have as much to mark or just using for um, memory planning purposes, then, then it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. I pulled in the quote full box onto Monday. It says autumn leaves, fall breeze. This is obviously a very fall themed kit. And I am planning, uh, the week that I'm planning is the first full week in October, in case you're curious. So I thought that a fall theme was um, relevant. Uh, there are quite a few full boxes that weren't specifically fall. So I started by pulling in just the ones that were fall, Thanksgiving, leaves, um, specific, knowing that I could pull the other boxes that weren't as specific into um, other spreads potentially. Then I put the extra strips of washi intended for the extension into the sideboard um, as sort of quasi full boxes on Thursday and Friday there, trimming the excess with my Excel tool and pulling it up with my Revlon tweezers. And then I added another strip of that little, of that sage green bottom washi to make that um, strip on Friday a little bit thicker, trimmed off the excess. And then I'm going to pull in these patterned flags to extend this sort of faux full box thing a little bit. I don't love the way that turned out, but I wanted to make sure that I used the printed flags since I didn't really know where else I would get a chance to use them. So I'm using them to kind of flank my little faux full box situations on Thursday and Friday. I don't love how that turned out, but just wanted to use up use up these stickers and use this these sheets um, up as much as possible then I'm pulling in the confetti foiled flags to fill up some space on Friday and Saturday there are other um, colors of these confetti flags, the, the, the mauve color in the kit and the sagey green, just placing the rest of those um, throughout the spread. And then I'm going to do the same with the bow checklist flags throughout other parts of the spread. And I'm going to use the last of the uh, circle layering pieces to act as headers for the um, these bow checklist flags. Um, you'll see that in just a second here. And I'm also pulling in the hidden little sage green washi strips that are on the top of each page in the kit um, just for an additional functional piece on some of the columns here.
and then that is pretty much it for this spread. Um, this will be a memory cleaning spread for this week in October. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm liking how this spread turned out. It's nice to be able to go back into my, um, my fall mode and play with some fall, um, colored stickers. So, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoy my content. Peace, love, and happy cleaning, everyone. Bye-bye.